we're just having a little fun here. Getting ready to make some pork and potato meatloaf. Today, we're mixing it up by using store-bought frozen pre-grated hash browns. It's a really great convenience product because you don't have to grate your own potatoes, which, you know, saves time, right? But you do still have to grate your own onion. Watch and learn. So peel your onion and a carrot. You know what else about this recipe that I forgot to mention that's almost the most important thing? It's lower in fat because you're using all these vegetables in there. So grate a carrot and grate your onion. Make sure that you change your grater every once in a while. I think people have a tendency to think that a grater lasts forever and it actually gets dull if you use it a lot. Grate the onion too. Grating onion can be extremely painful. Probably even worse than slicing onion. The glasses didn't work. I haven't tried the goggles yet. I'm trying to stand away. Keep, avert your face method. If you grate your onion and your carrot, it eliminates the need to pre-cook them. They sort of dissolve into the meatloaf as it's cooking, and you don't need to pre-cook them. So it saves time. Those potatoes we were talking about, two cups. Potatoes add a lot of bulk and texture without adding a lot of weight. One and a half pounds of ground pork, two egg whites. This is like your meat and potatoes and your vegetable all in one. You got a lot going on in here. Two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons of salt. Washed and dried parsley, about a quarter cup. I like to shave it, then just remove the big heavy stems. This is more than a quarter cup. I don't care, I'm gonna go crazy, I'm putting it all in. And you can't stop me, because you're not here. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. One last ingredient, black pepper. A lot, like three quarters of a teaspoon, or until your arm is too tired. Mix it with your hands. The only tools you need. Don't over mix, but make sure that all the vegetables mix into your pork evenly. And if there's a big piece of onion that was not grated and you missed it, get rid of it. Time to form the loaf. Straight onto a baking sheet lined with parchment and then just form it into sort of a football shape, an oblong of sorts. Make it all one thickness. Very pretty. Well, it's really not that pretty, but it's gonna be delicious. Not everything can be beautiful. Wash your hands. The same growth. 350 degrees for about an hour. It needs to be 160 in the thickest part if you're using an instant read thermometer. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not beautiful, but it smells fantastic. It's gonna be tasty. That just needs to rest like 10 minutes, 10 at the most. But I have a salad that I'm just gonna dress right here in this bowl just for fun. Lemon juice, to olive oil, salt, pepper, done. I need to have salad. Even though there's all those vegetables in there, I still want it. Little bread, salad is done. Meatloaf is rested, we are ready. Slice it up and serve it, and you have a delicious dinner. So simple, so delicious, so much lower in fat. Why don't you give it a try?